G'day folks, welcome to the Scotch Down Under. I'm the Cubo. I'm Scott. And I'm Ken. And uh, I'm looking a little tropical. There's a reason behind that and there's a reason why I'm in the middle and in control of this one is because this one was actually gifted to me for Christmas this year by my son. So thank you, Ethan, very much. You've made your father a very happy man. But you already knew that because I cracked it on Christmas Day. And the reason why I've gone the tropical shirt and everything is because this is from up in the tropics, northwest or western Australia from a distillery that's actually renowned locally for making rum. This is their first ever whiskey. Mm. So today we are going to tackle the Hoochery Distillery Corn and Sorghum Whiskey. Nice. Back in 1995, a, uh, a farmer in the Ord Valley uh, region up around Kununurra uh, was involved in the start of Western Australia's uh, sugar industry. Yeah. And he got the idea of like, well, if we're growing sugar and stuff, might as well make some rum. Let's make some rum. So they're actually listed as the first legal rum distillery in Western Australia. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, 95 or thereabouts, um, and it's all basically small batch stuff. Yep. Um, I think I've had one of their rums that was a few years ago. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, heard about this. And it's pot still, handmade pot still. Handmade pot still, yeah, that's... hand bottled, and uh, yeah, so this is their, their first attempt at a whiskey that they've actually released. It's yeah, possible yeah. they've had a couple of goes at it beforehand, but this is the first one they've released. So it's corn and sorghum, uh, with uh, sorghum, sorghum, yeah, yeah, um, which is all grown locally in Kununurra, like mm -hmm. in the farm. Literally, like the farm is at the back, the distillery is at the front. Yeah. So the terroir is you get it from this distillery. It is made at this yeah. distillery and grown at this distillery. <laughs> Quick question: The fuck is sorghum? It's an old <laughs> grain. Yeah. yeah. Uh, basically. Pretty much exclusive to Australia and Africa. Africa, yeah. Oh. Um, so it's actually gluten free. Okay. And it's a very white, um, fluffy looking when it's ground up, if I remember correctly. Yeah, very sustainable, and there is actually historical records of um, not so much here in Australia, but in uh, Africa uh, for centuries they've actually been fermenting sorghum and turning it into different uh, alcoholic goodies alcoholic <laughs> beverages <laughs> um, so yeah this is their first go at doing a whiskey and it's batch number one only 813 bottles per batch um, because it is a oh so that's not three, actually the 300 number. litre barrels or yeah. maybe a little more yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's not actually the no that's the bottle number, number. They're, they're just saying barrel number one so 18 and 813 bottles uh -huh. from barrel number one. Yep. Um, so yeah, there was that hesitation of, shit, do I open this or do I, do I just order another bottle? And it's like, I know, I've got to open it. I've got to know whether it's bloody worth it or not. And uh, yeah, these guys don't know what they're in for. Mm. <laughs> so the ABV is 45.1. 45.1. Probably not chill filtered because physically impossible in Australia at this point in time to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, being in Kununurra is like sticking in a cast for two minutes and it's done. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, like they're sort of heading into their bloody wet season now. Yeah, yeah, being, yeah. Humid being as hell. tropical and yeah. Yep, big wets. And that, that's it. They, they use their own, and during the wet, they use their own rainwater they capture. Yes. Which is awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Well, there's no shortage of it during the wet season. <laughs> no, <definitely. laughs> The label is quite simple. It's not textured or anything like that. Fairly basic shape bottle, but there's there's still something classy about that, you know. The perforation as well. The perforation around the edges, which is quite pronounced. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously the big thing, if you saw this sitting on a shelf, you'd be looking at that batch number one and thinking- Yeah, that, cool that's there. that's what's quite different from most whiskies anywhere around the world. You never see that information smack bang up the top. America it's does it. down the bottom. Mm. America tends to. So like Blanton's and stuff like that, they have batch yeah, but, number. But they have an entire big, big bowl. Well, thing, that's yeah. their entire label. It's yeah. 
batch number, bar barrel number, bottle number. That's it. That's how they market their, their whiskies. I, you do see it a little bit with American, but not yep. really anywhere else. Mm. It's just kind of in the bottom corner, like here. Like The biggest giveaway that it is actually a special release from a small distillery. There's nothing on the barcode. Mm. There's no barcode. There's, there's no nothing. Nothing. Yep. Because and all the notes on they're the selling them actually, direct. I just noticed there's a really nice watermark. In the, yeah, look at that. It's got his logo and everything mm. there. Everything's got him on it. Everything the Old River That's does awesome. has him on it, which I believe he unfortunately It is embossed. Last year. That watermark is embossed. Oh, I'll, I'll take you with Just. Yeah, that's embossed. Just. <laughs> that's not embossed, Just that's find stamped. It. Yeah. Shall we have a sniff? Yes. And see what you boys think of this. I love the nose. Oh, yeah. And the other thing for me as well is, is you know, 45.1, I can get my nose straight in there. Yeah. And there, there is a little bit of ethanol there. Yeah. Just but there's that. Oh, but it's just... wrapped in that sweetness. <sighs> so, we're placing bets that it's American style whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah. bourbon. Yeah. Wow. Well, no. I mean, there's. It's not for America. It's not no, bourbon. well, that's bourbon style. <laughs> um, almost, almost. It does have that spice. Almost nougat. Mm. Yeah, there's, that's there's a, something that's like, a creamy, like there's vanilla, rich, and it's yeah. almost creamy on the nose. But yeah, yeah. I mean, this nose is fantastic, mm. and that was the thing for me straight away when I cracked the lid and took a sniff straight out of the bottle. It was just like, oh, I'm gonna like this. Mm. I'm gonna like this a lot. Mm. But yeah, there's there's something creamy on the nose. Yep. But there's vanilla. All I'm getting is spice. And toffee and spice. Mm. Like there's a strong underlying sweetness there. Mm. I think that's actually the sorghum. I love it. That really smells nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> yep. Soft, oh, creamy, whiskey. vanilla. Mm. I must say, I'm not a big fan of the bourbon style. This doesn't really come across as it, a strong over corn fronting mm. bourbony type dram. See, I mean, the thing is, for me, it's very different than most American whiskeys. Yeah, that's had. what I reckon. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's, it um, was just that first, as soon as it hit my taste buds, my body went, that's American whiskey. And then it opens up. See, I mean, like, for me, sit. my first thoughts with, with especially thinking higher ABV American whiskeys, mm. is straight away, I think Maker's 46 Wild Turkey 101. Mm. That's what I think of first. Then you've got stuff like I think the, the Woodford Double Oaks a little stronger as well and, mm. and things like that but there's not there that well. mm. like the most recent one that I've had is the Woodfords and, that, and for me there's not that classic oaky vanilla slight mm. very subtle cherry that you get from a lot of bourbons so there's not a lot of that in here and I think that mm -hmm. again that's that sorghum because mm. the last American whiskey I had was the Taylor's EH the rye that's pretty good, but still, still not a big fan. But yeah, I know. it's clinging up in the glass. Yeah, it's very rich and it's, thick. It's thick. It's oily. It's creamy. It's more creamy than oily. Yes, like you said, that nougat. That is an apt description. It really is on the nose and the, on the palate. It's cream a spicy nougat. Like, yeah, for me, on that first yep. sniff, it was just vanilla and sweet. But again, not really sort of honey or caramel, more of that sort of toffee sweetness. Mm. Well, there's definitely vanilla from the oak, because there's a slight oakiness to the vanilla. Mm. Now, I haven't actually tried this with just straight water when I had it on Christmas Day, because it was still, I think it was still like 26, 27 degrees at 7, 8 o'clock at night or whenever it was I cracked these. Yeah. I had the first one neat. Um, but then had the second one in a uh, smallish brandy glass with a couple of ice cubes. And I tell you what, it actually really, really softened up. Hmm. I just picked this up and had a thought. I said, oh, don't hold it by the, the, um, the globe. You're going to heat the whiskey up now. <laughs> 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 Not an issue. Yeah, good luck trying to heat it up more than what the every temperature is. 
Oh, my body temperature is colder than the air. Not really much change for me on the nose with the water. Mm. I went for but a sip. <laughs> I found more, more of that. More toffee. Yeah, on the palate, it's more toffee. On the nose, I was getting a mm. bit more of the um, yeah, organ characteristic coming through. I definitely get that toffee. It's more of a burnt toffee for me. I was just going to say, mm. it's a toffee that, you know, another, well done. another 30 seconds or so in the mm, pan. It's caramelised. <laughs> no, no, and it'd be burnt. Yeah, yeah. So maybe there is some charring on the palate. Mm. Maybe that's starting to come through now with a little water. You'd be mad not to. Yeah, maybe maybe they're not charring them. Maybe they're just toasting. Mmm. Mmm. But I really like this. Mm, it's not bad. I really like this. I love the nose on it. It's freaking delicious. <laughs> and it's it carries through. There's very little variation from the nose to the palate for yeah. me. Um, and yeah, obviously adding a little water to it and stuff, you're starting to get a little more. It's changing slightly. More of those characteristics opening up. Mm, definitely. What do you reckon this worth? I don't know. So, small batch Australian in the American style, they usually are relatively up there in price. Like, definitely above 90. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. you're probably going about the 130 mark, I reckon. Yep. I'm most Australian whiskies I hover around the 150 and above, so I'm mm. going 150. Uh, it's pretty much it's it's in the ballpark there. It's 146 through their website. Oh yeah, which is pretty damn good. Um, I'd pick this up. <clears throat> yeah, so I mean it's um, it's ticking boxes. It's it actually is. It's I mean look, yeah. it's it's local, and it's using all WA ingredients, and it's like like they say on their website, it is. Paddock to pallet. Mm. It is literally to, yeah. out of their backyard yep. into the distillery. Their own rainwater, their own grains, hand still. Yep. Freaking, yeah, love it. Yep. Copper, they mind themselves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, out of 10. This one's a hard one for me because I don't like the style. I can see it's a good whiskey. Be honest then. Wow. Yeah, above what, all else. Look, however you feel about it. Yeah, you you prefaced it with, it's not my style of dram. Mm. So it really doesn't matter where you go with it. I mean, well, obviously, I'll give it an eight purely because all of the like my favourite American whiskey is Eagle Rare and closely followed by Buffalo Trace, mm. just a standard Buffalo, um, and it like there. In my opinion, really good. And I'd still only give them a seven because they're not a scotch. <laughs> 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 oh well, the, I just I don't know. I've I've had a lot of disagreements with American whiskey in my younger years, and it took me a very long time to get back onto the bandwagon. That's fair. Thanks to That's a Mr. Fair. Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> I I really enjoy this. The nose, I can't stop sniffing it, and on the palate, that honey, that nougat, the richness. The, the slightly peppery and that sorghum characteristic mm. that's so unique and being in our backyard and the whole story like he says on his website from genuine paddock to pallet that is awesome I'll give it a 9 too that's why I was pretty much thinking myself and I mean gotta take into the fact that it is at this point it's a one off release mm. yeah there's only 800 odd batch. bottles Single barrel, first bottling sort of thing. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like if it was perhaps a little more affordable, I'd possibly even give it a nine and a half because I really, yeah. really like this. Yeah, give that a hundred bucks, that'd be great. But yeah. at 146, um, like, which I think is a good price, it's it's Australian, Australian whiskey, yeah, it's worth it. If yeah. you saw this down the road sitting on the shelf I'd give it a go at 150 bucks yep I'm giving it a go you'd probably still grab it yep mm. yep definitely um especially having tried it well not not even trying it so, just reading like seeing that and reading that little story yeah. on the front there and being less than 150 bucks for a limited barrel release in our backyard with that cool little uh terra yeah that's I'd definitely grab that yeah, look, oh, I mean, the biggest thing for me is, as I said already, small batch, 
a decent ABV. It's got a really, really solid flavour. Mm. Um, and I think the pricing is still quite good on it. I agree. And with I, that. I have been pretty reserved with a lot of my scores lately. Mm. But I'm still going to give this a nine and a quarter. Because yep. I'm still really impressed with it. It's drinking magnificently. It is. And as I said, with a little bit of ice, with a little bit of water, it's changing up. And it's mm. still just really, really solidly good whiskey. Mm. And it's Australian, mate. Bloody Aussie, mate. Fucking Western Australian, <laughs> mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so from all of us to all of you, have, have a, a good, good one. one. Good one. Fucking so <laughs> <right>. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs>